What's up, everybody? It's me, World's Okay's Mechanic. We're back at it again. Um, I know it's been kind of slow and steady, but I'm going to jump right into this. Today, we are taking the bumper or fascia, whatever you want to call it, off of my 2012 Ford Flex so I can remount my fog lights that I put on over the weekend and did not measure anything like that. I just kind of eyeballed it, and it is way off. I've got the one on the driver's side blinding people. I've got the one on the passenger side that just doesn't shine anywhere useful um, and I might wire in my light bar too uh, that I have down here at the very bottom if you can see that so that's my passenger side it just kind of shines out there I know they're not very bright but somehow that one even with it pointing down is blinding people um, I keep getting bright lighted because of them so we're gonna fix those up uh, get them get them mounted at the top so I can point them down a little bit towards the ground but I'm going to split this into two separate videos, one about how to take how to take this cover off, and then the second one's going to be for uh, doing all the light stuff. So let's jump right into taking this fascia off. Okay, so to get the front fascia off, you've got four of these uh, Phillips style push pins, and then you've got two 10 mil bolts, but right now I've got my Phillips bit and my little electric screwdriver. So let's sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Yeah, sometimes it works like that. Other times it doesn't. Most of the time, most of the time they don't. So I'll show you what I like to do whenever they don't come out like they're supposed to is, uh, I don't know where my knife is. Uh, give me just one second. Okay, so I don't know where I have placed my knife, but I wanted to make sure that this was actually gonna work like I thought it would. So you take a flathead screwdriver, a smaller one, because they're kind of thin, and you just work it in the edge. Um, yes, it's gonna mess up. The body of the push pin a little bit but that's okay and then I just go ahead and pull all the little center pieces out and then set them off to the side and now we can come over here and grab our 10 mil stick it on here Yes, this is a Hart brand electric screwdriver. I got it at Walmart for like 20 bucks. They had them on sale. And I mean, I've only had to charge it once and I've had it for like three months. That's also shows how little I've used it. But we get these pulled out. I do apologize for the bad camera work. There's just not a good spot to, to put the camera whenever you're trying to take the fascia off because this the fascia is usually where I set the camera <laughs> so we'll get all these little push pins out okay uh oh there it is oh okay it didn't break all right cool so we'll set those over there now also normally there is where this little license plate bracket thing is there is two like right off in here like right where my finger is um, whenever I took them out they uh, they broke putting the light bar in there um, it just they weren't gonna be get they weren't gonna be gettable uh, I need my keys because there is some stuff in the fender well obviously that we got to get out and it's easier to just turn the wheel Ow, that was hot So we'll turn the wheel full lock one one direction. Come over here, get our trusty dusty, get our trusty rusty dikes, and crawl under there and take out one of the push pins. And there is three very small bolts. Uh, I believe they're they're either five or six mil. I don't remember. 
I will correct myself whenever I get to them, but let's crawl under there and get this push pin out. Okay, so our push pin is right here. I like to use dikes for these. Um, this bumper has hit a curb or something of that sort, so stuff doesn't really fit in there right, but all the pieces are there. Um, there's one push pin uh, on the bottom that isn't there, that isn't right, um, and I will show you that here in a minute. But let me grab some sockets for these three. Uh, we're, there we go. There's one. There's two. And the third one is up right there. So, okay. So I was wrong. They are five and a half mil bolts. Spin them all out. And then we will fire it up, turn the wheel the other direction, and undo the bolt and the push pin on the other side. There we go. Shut that off. Grab our, grab our cutters and our heart cordless screwdriver. No, this is not sponsored. Um, I am just honestly kind of surprised at how well this has worked. So, since I showed you that side, this side is literally the exact same. Um, so, I will see you whenever we crawl underneath to get the push pins out. Okay, okay, and now we crawl underneath. There is supposed to be a push pin right here. Um, it is not here for whatever reason. Um, there is the second one, and there is the third one. Since I am on the ground and I don't have a lift, um, I am I am gonna have to turn this off and just pull those out because it being under here it will require both hands so I don't break them or lose them. So I will see you whenever I get all that whenever I get those two push pins out. Okay, now that we have those push pins out, so we're gonna come in here, stick your hand between the wheel well and the bumper and very gently pry it out like such um, it should catch right here so it doesn't just like face plant itself but just in case it doesn't be prepared oops I think I broke part of it and then I'll come over here and just pick it up and it sits right down yep there we go and then I'll reach in here and unhook my fog lights so I can actually move my bumper around. Well, I said I was gonna. This might require two hands. There we go. Okay, got that one. And now for this one. Okay, so we've got the lights unhooked. I'm gonna bring bumper over here and roll it over so it sits even. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, cool. So now that that is all even Steven, Okay, so instead of showing every step to put this thing back on, the installation is exactly the reverse of the uh, removal. So I'm gonna, okay, had to make sure it was recording. I'm gonna speed, I'm gonna just speed run this, speed run the bumper cover going back on and also fishing my light bar wires up to where I can hold them still, um, still have access to them. So let's get to this.
and that was removing and installing the front fascia bumper cover on a 2012 Ford Flex. I believe all your ranges are roughly the same procedure. So I will see you on our next adventure.